Hello, I'm Jody Bentley, actor, producer, speaker, and teacher. Hello, Facebook. And uh, as an actor, I play women who are obsessed, ambitious, and ambitious, mm -hmm. obsessed, ambitious, determined, and myopic to the extreme. As a producer, I tell stories that raise consciousness. And as a teacher and speaker, I talk about bravery in business. Hello, Carolyn. Um, and uh, so I talk about the entertainment business, uh, creative business, and the business of life. Hello, Sean and Jorge. Thanks for joining. And Michelangelo, hello. Thanks for joining. So to me, bravery is the obsessed desire to authentically be who you are and not compromise your vision for your career and your life. Bravery is a choice, and I invite you to be brave with me. And thank you for tuning in to episode 25 of my Bravery in Business series. Hello, Trip and Jonathan and Anna and Andre. Hello. Um, and today's an interesting topic that we're going to talk about. I'm feeling a little vulnerable. Um, so I want to talk about shame and disappointment. And um, this has been coming up a lot for me. Uh, I have two mastermind groups that I'm running now and, uh, and coaching clients as well. And even my students um, at uh, studio school who are graduating this year. So and it's just this, uh, there seems to be a collective consciousness around this issue of shame and disappointment right now. Um, hey, Paige and Andy, thanks for joining. Okay. So tell me if this, if you can relate to this and, and write on the sidebar if, if you can. Um, you know, we set goals, right? We commit to things, we set goals, we have our plans as, as actors or artists or entrepreneurs. And then sometimes uh, those goals, we don't hit them, right? Um, other things happen, other opportunities present themselves, but the expectations and the outline that we uh, had planned and structured for ourselves um, doesn't always happen. Let's just be honest. Um, we get to give ourselves that plan and structure so we know where we're going, so we know what we're manifesting, so we're telling the universe what we want and taking action towards our deepest desires. And then sometimes, there's disappointment in that. And that disappointment uh, can lead to feelings of shame. Shame in, oh, I said I was going to do this thing. I wanted this thing. I told people that this is what I wanted. This was my goal. And it didn't happen. So my question to you is when disappointment sets in, when you're feeling those feelings, do you retreat? Do you shut down? Do you pull back? Um, because in doing that, it, it really is, is manifesting shame. There's shame in uh, that I feel, I'll just speak about myself, um, in, in that I, I said I'm going to do this thing and it didn't happen, so now I can't talk about it because I feel shamed when I talk about it. Um, for example, um, right before the holiday uh, last year, or was it I mean, like the, the, before Thanksgiving, I, I booked Modern Family. And I posted it on social media and shared it with everyone. And the, uh, I mean, so full of gratitude for the responses and the excitement and the support that I felt um, from from people and from that, and uh, shot the episode. It was amazing. I had a great part, and uh, told my family over the holidays and connected. And literally a few days before Christmas, my manager had called and said, uh, "We we just heard from casting. Um, they called us to let us know that your scene had been cut, and they would just wanted you to know that that you were great, um, but they wanted to let you know that your scene was cut, and they felt terrible and." They're going to be looking out for another role for you to bring you in. First of all, how lovely to get that call. How lovely that casting took the time to reach out to my team and let them know. And at the same time, I felt so much shame around that. I think it, I think it took me 24 hours to tell my husband. <laughs> um, I think it took me two to three days to tell my family. I don't even think I told all of them at that point. Um, 
And then I never announced it again on social media because I had this shame around it. I was disappointed and had shame. So my question to you is, when does that happen for you? Hey, Craig, thanks for joining. When do you let disappointment get in your way and shame to take over? Which then all that does is uh, have us retreat and pull back in our careers. Um, and it's interesting, you know, and I think sometimes we feel the disappointment and I can speak for myself again. Like I felt that disappointment of I'm not going to like I'm on the show, but I'm not on the show. Right. Um, you can see my little face in the background, but it, you know, my scene was cut. So I felt that disappointment I was like, all right, just dust it off, move forward. But I'm still carrying shame about that. Um, and even my brother-in-law texted me the other day and he's like, Hey, when does your episode air again? I have a bunch of people asking. And I was like, Oh God, I haven't even texted you back, Andrew. I'm so sorry. Because out of my own shame and disappointment, I guess I didn't share with you that my scene was cut. So, Hey Paul. Hey Mark. Thanks for joining. We're talking about shame and disappointment in our careers. So here's what I urge you to do. We're inevitably going to feel disappointment. We have expectations about how things are going to go. I expected to have a great time on set. Check. Did that. I expected to, uh, you know, do a, do good work. Uh, you know, have a good rapport with the director. Check. Did that. I expected to be on the episode. Nope. Didn't happen. So it's when those expectations that we have don't manifest, that's when disappointment sets in. And I also feel that we don't allow ourselves to feel that disappointment fully. Hello, Vanessa. Thanks for joining. So here's what I invite you to do. Because inevitably we have goals. Inevitably we have dreams and desires. Inevitably we have expectations wrapped up in that. And sometimes there is disappointment that comes when those expectations aren't met. So I urge you to feel your disappointment. I urge you to feel the shame that comes with that and know that you're not alone. Because one reason why I got on this video today is I've been wanting to talk about this for a while because I said I booked this in freaking November and found out in December and now, oh, it's March, uh, finally talking about it and I'm still feeling shame around it. Um, so when there is disappointment, I, I urge you to talk about it. I urge you to make it known. I urge you to be transparent about it or else we just spiral down in this weirdo shame place and uh, it's, it's not a good place to be. And if, if you want to know more information about just this concept of shame and vulnerability, I don't know if you know Brene Brown, but research her. She has some great freaking videos, books, um, audiobooks. I just listened to her book again, The Power of Vulnerability. Um, she has really great stuff. So I, uh, I would invite you to check that out. Vanessa. Oh, hey, thank you. Vanessa said I look fantastic. Thank you, Vanessa. I appreciate it. I had a blowout yesterday, though it's raining here in Los Angeles and I have to go out in the rain now. Um, and thank you for uh, saying you love my videos. I appreciate that. Okay, so I invite you all to feel your feelings of disappointment. I invite you all to be vocal about your feelings of disappointment, to not spiral down into that shame. And I invite you to let go of expectations. Because again, all of this disappointment and shame is based around expectations that we had. That we have this one linear path and this is what's going to happen and if it doesn't happen, I'm terrible. As opposed to this is my path, these are the actions I'm, on, I'm choosing on this path and I'm open to what the universe it will provide. I'm open to different opportunities that will present themselves because something could be even greater than what I had imagined. So if something didn't turn out the way you wanted it to, I invite you to uh, brainstorm on uh, uh, other, uh, other ways, other outcomes, right? So um, for example, say you produced a film and you, you submitted it to a bunch of film festivals and maybe your expectation was getting into film festivals and using that as leverage but say that expectation didn't pan out. Well, now what? We can either feel disappointment and shame about that, or we can figure out other ways to leverage that product. Another path that we can go down with this thing that you created. 
because there is no one right way to do anything. There is, uh, there's no linear path, especially as a creative, especially as an entrepreneur, it's not linear, right? Um, oh, hey, Matt, thank you for joining. Um, yes, Trip, Vanessa, love Brene Brown. She is so good. Um, books, uh, her book, The Gifts of Imperfection. Ooh, good, I haven't read that one, thank you. Um, that's a, so everyone check out The Gifts of Imperfection. Um, but yeah, Brene Brown is, is amazing uh, on, on shame. So uh, to recap, I urge you to feel your feelings of disappointment. Don't spiral down into shame by being vocal and talking about it and sharing how you feel. And I invite you to let go of expectations and think outside the box to find another way, another path, because there is no one right way. So yeah, so I, oh, hey, Maurice, thanks for joining. So I get to take my own advice. And uh, so I acknowledge myself for being vocal about my shame around Modern Family. <laughs> and I get to find another way to leverage that success as opposed to posting the video footage from the episode, which I was expecting to do. So there we go. Uh, I invite you to be brave with me and feel your disappointment and shame and let go of expectations and move forward as the awesome, creative, compassionate, connected individual you are. So follow me on Twitter, Facebook. Um, oh, yeah. And I launched this week a free webinar um, for actors on uh, actor mailings, talking about postcards and thank you cards and um, how not to be a needy actor and how, how, what will make casting directors read your mail and, and uh, compel them to call you in. So I urge you to check out that webinar. There's a link um, on this post to sign up for that. Uh, you can pick and choose a date that works for you. Hey, Tony, thanks for joining. But I'm signing off. So I'm going to go eat lunch. So have a great day on Facebook. Thanks for joining. Um, and I will see you next time. Okay. Bye.